Apple has spent literally billions of dollars developing the most sophisticated productivity tools that are already on your iPhone. And yet most of us, myself included, until recently, were out here downloading like 47 different apps when everything we actually need is already sitting here right in our phone. And I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical at first. Like, can the native apps actually compete with productivity apps like Notion? And the answer is yes. Not only can they compete, but they integrate so seamlessly with each other that it's actually kind of incredible. So today, I'm going to show you how I built an entire productivity system using nothing but the apps that came with my iPhone. No subscriptions, no third-party apps, just pure Apple. Before we dive into the setup, we need to talk about why this actually works. And it comes down to one thing, friction. Every time you have to open a separate app, log in again, wait for it to sync, or deal with some weird integration issue, that's friction. And friction kills productivity. But native apps, zero friction. They're always there, they always work, and they talk to each other without you having to do anything. Your calendar knows about your reminders. Your reminders can create calendar events. Focus modes can filter everything. It's all connected. And that's the secret sauce here. Alrighty, so step one, one, we're building this entire system on top of focus modes. And I'm not talking about just do not disturb. I'm talking about creating multiple focus modes that actually shape your entire phone experience. So I've got four main focus modes set up. Morning, work, personal time, and wind down. And each one completely transforms what my phone looks like and how it behaves. Let me walk you through my morning focus mode first. So when my alarm goes off, this automatically kicks in. And here's what happens. My home screen shows only the apps I need for my morning routine. That's calendar to see what's coming up, reminders to check my morning checklist, weather, and notes for journaling. That's it. No email, nothing work-related, no social media. None of that stuff even shows up on my home screen during morning mode. And the lock screen is super minimal. Just the time, the weather widget, and a shortcut to start my morning meditation timer. The notifications are completely filtered too, so I only get calls from my favorites list, everything else is silenced. No pings, no buzzes, no distractions. Just me, my coffee, and whatever I need to do to start my day right. And here's the cool part. You can set this to activate automatically. So mine turns on every morning at 9 a.m. and stays on until 10 a.m. when my work focus mode kicks in. I don't have to think about it, it just happens. Now, let me show you how to actually set these up properly because most people don't go deep enough with this. So you go into set settings, then focus, and you can create a new focus mode. Here's where most people stop. They just filter notifications and call it a day. But no, 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 we're going way deeper than that because you want to customize your home screen for each focus mode. So when you're in the focus mode settings, scroll down to customize screens and you can choose which home screen pages show up during that focus. This is massive. This means during work mode, I literally can't see my personal apps at all. They're not hidden. They're just on a different page that doesn't exist exist in that focus mode. Then you set up a custom lock screen for each focus. Different widgets, different wallpapers, the whole thing. So when I look at my phone, I immediately know what mode I'm in just by the vibe. And then, this is important, you link your focus modes to specific locations or times. My work focus automatically activates at 10 a.m. My workout mode turns on when I arrive to the park that I go running at. My personal time focus kicks in at 6 p.m. And my wind down focus mode starts at 9 p.m. All automatic. Okay, so now that we've got focus mode set up, let's talk about calendar. And I know what you're thinking, it's just a calendar, what's special about it? But hear me out, the calendar app is actually the hub of your entire productivity system. Because here's the thing, time is the only resource you can't get more of. So if you're not protecting your time in your calendar, you're basically just hoping things work out. And hope is not a strategy. So here's how I use it. Every Sunday night, I do a weekly review, and I block out time for everything. Not just meetings, everything. I've got blocks for deep work, blocks for email, blocks for exercise, blocks for family time. If it matters, it gets a block. And I use color coding religiously. Blue for work meetings, green for deep work, orange for personal time, and red for urgent tasks. So when I glance at my calendar, I can immediately see the shape of my week. Now here's a pro tip. Use the travel time feature. When you create an event, you can add travel 
travel time before it, and your phone will actually send you notifications to leave based on traffic. It's automatic time management. And the widgets? Oh yes, the widgets are so, so good. I've got the calendar widget on my home screen in every focus mode, but in morning mode, it shows my full day. In work mode, it's the list view so I can see what's next. In wind down mode, it shows tomorrow so I can mentally prepare. All right, let's talk about reminders. And I'm gonna be honest, I slept on this app for years. I thought it was too simple, but that simplicity is actually its superpower. So here's my system. I've got different lists for different areas of my life. Work projects, personal tasks, shopping, and quick captures. And each list has a different color and icon, so I can spot them instantly. The work projects list is organized by project with subtask. So I'll have like Q4 content strategy, as the main task, and then all the individual action items as subtask underneath. And you can add notes, links, photos, whatever you need right in there. But here's where it gets powerful, location-based reminders. So I've got a reminder that triggers when I arrive home that says, did you check mail today? This is super helpful for me since I get a lot of mail and packages. I've also got one that triggers when I arrive at the park for a run, and I've got one that triggers when I get to the grocery store that pulls up my shopping list. I mean, your phone knows where you are anyway, so you might as well use it to actually help you remember things. And time-based reminders are a no-brainer, obviously. But I don't just use them for do this at 2 p.m. I use them for recurring habits. So every morning at 9.30 a.m., I get reminded to meditate and zone out. I love doing this because it gets my mind calm before starting work. And then, like every evening at 6 p.m., I get reminded to review my day. Every Sunday at 5 p.m., I get reminded to do my weekly content content planning. You get the hint. These little nudges have completely changed my consistency with habits. Now, Notes. Notes is probably the most underrated app on the entire iPhone. People think it's just for like grocery list and random thoughts, but it can do so much more. So first, folders. You need to organize your notes into folders. I've got folders for meeting notes, project ideas, reference material, and quick capture. Everything goes into a folder. And within those folders, I use pinned notes for anything I reference frequently. My daily scripts template is pinned. My project dashboard is also pinned. So they're always right at the top. And speaking of templates, make templates for recurring things. I have a meeting notes template, a content template, and a project planning template. And you just duplicate them whenever you need them. Saves so much time. Now here's something most people don't know. You can scan documents directly into notes using your camera, like full on scan mode with automatic edge detection and everything. So I scan receipts, important mail, random documents, boom, right into my notes. Searchable, organized, done. And there's the linking feature. You can link notes to each other. So in my content note, I have links to all my project notes. In my project notes, I have some links to meeting notes. You get the picture. It's like building your own wiki. Oh, and checklist. Notes has checklist functionality built in. So for recurring checklists like my morning routine or my packing list for travel, I just keep them in notes and check them off. And then when I need them again, I just uncheck everything. Super simple like that. Okay, let's talk about widgets because this is where everything comes together. Your home screen should be a dashboard, not an app launcher. And widgets make that possible. So in my morning focus mode, my home screen is all widgets. I've got the large calendar widget showing my day. I've got the reminders widget showing my morning routine checklist. I've got the weather widget and I've got a notes widget for quick notes that I want to jot down down while they're fresh in my brain. That's it. When I look at my phone in the morning, I see everything I need to know without opening an app. In work mode, a totally different setup. I've got the calendar widget in the list view, the reminders widget filtered to just my work list, and a notes widget showing my current project dashboard. And then below that, I have my essential work apps. But the widgets are the priority here. And here's a game changer, smart stacks. You can stack widgets on top of each other and the phone will entirely intelligently rotate them based on what it thinks you need. So I have a smart stack with calendar, reminders, and notes. And throughout the day, it shows me whichever one is most relevant. Like in the morning, it shows my reminders with my morning routine. During work hours, it shows my calendar with upcoming meetings. And in the evening, it shows my notes with my journal prompt, all automatically. All right, we need to talk about sleep because productivity isn't just about getting more done. It's about having the energy to do things well. And the 
health app has this whole sleep schedule feature that's honestly kind of incredible. So you go into the health app and set up your sleep schedule, how many hours you want to sleep, what time you want to go to bed, and what time you want to wake up. And then the phone helps you stick to it. First, it creates a wind down focus mode automatically. This starts an hour before your bedtime or however long you set it. And during wind down, your phone gets super chill. The screen dims, notifications are silenced, except for sleep related stuff. And your lock screen shows a calming wallpaper. In the morning, your alarm is built into this whole system and you can set it so your morning focus mode automatically activates when you turn off your alarm. So when you wake up, dismiss the alarm and boom, your phone is already in morning mode with everything you need. And the health app tracks all of this. So you can see your sleep trends over time. Are you actually getting to bed on time? Are you sleeping enough? Are you consistent? It gives you data to improve. Now I gotta tell you about something that's changed the game for me. And that's using Siri and Spotlight, but not as gimmicks, but as actual productivity tools. So here's the thing. The best productivity system in the world is worthless if you can't quickly capture ideas when they come to you. And most ideas come when your hands are full. You're driving, you're cooking, you're in the shower, you're in bed, whatever. Now that's where Siri comes in. And I'm not talking about asking it what the weather is. I'm talking about actually using it to capture things hands-free. So I'll be on my run and think of something for a project. I just say, hey Siri, add film B-roll for next week's video to my work projects list. Boom. It's in reminders under my work projects. I don't have to pull out my phone, unlock it, open reminders, find the right list, type it out, you get it. It's already done. Or I'll be driving and remember something I need to tell my editor. Hey Siri, create a note called Team Update. And then I just dictate the whole thing while I'm driving. By the time I get back home, the note is already there, formatted, ready to go. You can create calendar events too. Hey Siri, schedule deep work tomorrow at 9 a.m. for two hours. Done. It's on my calendar, color-coded and everything. The key is being specific. Don't just say, remind me to call John. Instead, say, remind me to call John about the budget budget at 2 p.m. tomorrow. The more specific you are, the better it works. Now, the other side of this is retrieval, and that's where Spotlight comes in. Most people don't use Spotlight beyond searching for apps, but it can search everything. Your notes, your reminders, your calendar events, your messages, your emails, everything. So instead of opening notes and scrolling through trying to find that meeting note from two weeks ago, I just swipe down on my home screen, type content meeting, and boom, there it is. Every note with the those words. Same with reminders. If I don't remember which list I put something on, doesn't matter. Spotlight finds it anyway. And here's another pro tip. You can search by date too. So notes from last week will show you all your notes from last week. It's incredibly powerful. I've started thinking of Spotlight as my command center. Anytime I need to find something or do something quickly, I just pull down Spotlight and type or talk to it. It's way faster than navigating through apps. And the combination of Siri for capture and spotlight for retrieval means you never lose an idea and you can always find what you need. Those are the two biggest productivity killers right there. Losing ideas and wasting time searching for things. Native iOS solves both. So here's what my phone looks like now. When I wake up, morning focus mode is already on. My lock screen shows the weather and my morning checklist. I see my journal prompt right there on my home screen. Through the notes widget, I open it up and do my morning journaling using my template. Just reflecting on yesterday, seeing if I missed any task from yesterday, and setting intentions for today while my mind is fresh from waking up. Then I check my calendar widget to see what's coming up. I can see my whole day laid out. I review my reminders, specifically my morning routine checklist, drink my water, lightly stretch, review my top three priorities for the day. Everything I need is right there on my home screen. No digging, no searching. And if something comes to mind while I'm having coffee, I just just tell Siri to add it to my reminders or create a quick note. The morning focus mode lasts until 10 a.m. and it's my protected time. No work notifications, no distractions, just me getting ready for the day mentally and physically. At 10 a.m., work mode kicks in automatically. My home screen changes. Now I see my work calendar, my work reminders, my project notes. Everything is filtered. I can't even see personal stuff right now. I'm in work mode. Throughout the day, I'm using calendar blocks to protect my time. I'm using reminders for task management. I'm using notes for capture and reference. And whenever an idea hits, I'm using Siri to capture.
capture it instantly. Whenever I need to find something, I'm using Spotlight to pull it up in seconds. At 6 p.m., personal focus mode activates. Different home screen, different widgets, different vibe. Now it's family time, personal time, working on personal projects, or watching the new IT series on HBO, whatever I want. At 9 p.m., wind down mode starts. The phone gets quiet and calm. I review tomorrow in calendar, and I set my top three tasks in reminders. At 10 p.m., sleep mode activates. The phone basically goes dark, just the essentials. And then I wake up and it starts all over again. So what's actually changed since I switched to this all native setup? First, I'm way more consistent because there's no friction. I don't have to remember to open some third party app. Everything is just there. The phone prompts me at the right times. It shows me what I need and when I need it. Second, I'm more focused. The focus modes really do work. When I'm in work mode, I'm in work mode. I don't get distracted by personal notifications. I don't even see those apps. It's like having different phones for different parts of my life. Third, my battery life is even better. Native apps are way more efficient than third-party apps. They use less battery, less data, and they're always optimized for the latest iOS features. And fourth, I'm spending less time managing my productivity system and more time actually being productive. I'm not tweaking no Ocean databases or setting up integrations, it just works. So here's what I want you to do. Try this for one week, just one week only. Set up your focus modes, start using calendar to block your time, move your task into reminders, and put your notes into notes. Give it a real shot, and I promise you, you're gonna be surprised at how powerful these native apps actually are. And if you do try it, come back and let me know in the comments how it went. What worked, what didn't work, what focus modes did you set up? I'd like to hear about it. Look, at the end of the day, productivity isn't about having the fanciest apps or the most complicated systems. It's about having tools that work for you, that reduce friction, and that help you do what matters. And sometimes the best tools are the ones that were there all along. So try out the native apps more, embrace the focus modes, build your system, and take back control of your time. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.